right now, I was running late, so I'm setting up the, uh, the rest of the snacks. Uh, we're reading another one of Amy Boyd's plays called Affordable Rates and Color TV. He described it as the breakfast club meets psycho. So, uh, that's fun. This isn't gonna look good. The Breakfast Club meets Psycho? Yeah, that's what he called it. Okay. All right, who are you? I'm Kenzie Foreman. All right, and what are you doing here? I'm reading a part. My name is Kimmy. Oh, okay. Thing. This video. Nick Martin. What are you doing today, Nick? I'm reading for Scotty. Yes. <laughs> I'm Shana Higgins, hello. What are you doing today, Shana? I'm here for a reading of... Affordable Rates and Color TV. Affordable Rates and Color TV. What character are you playing? Claire. Claire. I'm Mike, and I'm, I'm reading Frankie. Hello, I'm Tommy, I'm reading Ben. Isn't it Ben? Mm -hmm. have, have any of you had a chance to read the script prior to now? Really? Not Skimmed yet. it quickly mm -hmm. earlier today. today. Mm -hmm. He's skimming, so for, for many of us, no, it's no, been a first, first the very last minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you get to experience it wrong. Yeah, yeah. Salvation Road is awesome, and everyone should see it. At Lab 2, at Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is Affordable Rates and Color TV by Andy Boyd. The setting is a motel in Prescott, Arizona. Prescott is in the foothills about an hour and a half north of Phoenix. It is high desert with pine trees and snow until April. Vegetation is stubbly and mean. There are many thrift stores. There's not much rain. Scene one. Kim sits behind the counter of the, mo of the motel. Brochure rack, continental breakfast table, mini fridge, phone, CD player. I kind of want to go. What? It'll be fun. We can go and make fun of them and their stupid dancing and stuff. Kim, I'm 23. I can't go to prom, and neither can you. Yeah, but whatever. They never paid attention to me when I went there. They won't even notice. We're too old for that stuff. I'm 17. I, I know, but still, Kimmy. <laughs> it's weird when you call it mom. I, I mean, most people just say, like, the body or something. She's my mom. Honey, she isn't your mom. Not anymore, she isn't. Okay, it's just hard. I know, but Kim, she's dead. It was prom. It was good. My DJ friend played Forever Young, and then I requested Time After Time, and he played that, and then I requested Run Me Up That Hill, and he played that. <laughs> it was pretty awesome. That sounds horrible. Ah, I feel sort of nostalgic for the 80s. They have this totally unfounded confidence that I just can't imagine. I mean, I can't do anything without wondering what everyone else is, thinks about it, you know? These guys are, are fucking going for it, like balls to the wall, with just shoulder pads and guitars, huge hair, everything. I mean, it's gotten me through high school, so it must be good for something. I can offer another perspective if that's helpful. Franklin, I'm angry at you. <laughs> this is an issue. We're going to have a discussion, and you'll be fucking lucky if you get to touch any of this in the next month. And I put on fucking tubs of body... And I put on fucking tubs of body butter this afternoon. Does anyone <laughs> this? What? What the fuck do you want, Claire? It's fucking freezing out there. I'm wearing nothing. We live in the goddamn mountains, and I'm wearing nothing, and you didn't give me the keys, and your car is fucking cold, and you're so focused on your stupid little menage of weird that you totally <laughs> forgot that I'm sitting in your little icebox car freezing my ass off, and I'm upset! <laughs> and everyone keeps forgetting about me, and I look way better than all of you bitches, and no one has to dance with me, and now I'm smart and funny and damn good looking, and I'm sick of all this shit! This ends now! Then the smell started. She got all bloated and gross. I turned on the fan to get the smell out, but it kept coming back. She got all waxy. She just... She looked like she was covered in like a layer of cheese, like when you leave out nachos. She turned colors. Black and gray and purple. She was my mom! I thought I would wait until a couple of weeks after my birthday, then drive her out of town and dump her in a river, report her missing. They'd find her, and she'd be waterlogged and frozen, and they'd just assume it was because of the river. I know about all your little secrets. I pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> what specifically do you know? 
I know you don't love the older one over there and that you've been together anyway that <laughs> <laughs> he wants to leave. But you actually don't because you're too scared to grow up or something and so is the other one. And so he's trying to like date you or just fuck you or something so he can feel like a kid and forget that he's growing up and you're all just pathetic. Life happens to you. Deal with it. So <laughs> Yeah, um, but then to make, you know, the forcing comical at first and then making it really dark because he's using the knowledge of the dead body to, like, threaten her. Mm -hmm. It's, it's very skillfully done. But, yeah. like, this play, like, it, it, it drives, like, it, it really rolls along. If anything, I th think it could be, like, expanded a bit. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe bring these characters in back in a different mm -hmm. point. I thought the mystery was really sprinkled well, and if he could even like extend that a bit, make it like a two act, where the big reveal is at the at the uh, intermission. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think they are a bit sort of like added like some teen comedy. Yeah, yeah. but they're nuanced. Um, but they're yeah. yeah. Uh -uh. You're horrible. She's 17. She clearly has problems. No, and she yeah. killed that her mother sense. and <laughs> dropped out before she was 17. Like, she's not gonna think about the consequences of letting this guy go. Like, she has so many emotional problems. Like, she probably, like, likes the idea, loves the idea of you, you know, but has so many, like, fucked up problems. There's no way that, like, she even has any idea of, like, what's going on, you know what I mean? So, uh, I'm also interested in whether the tone varies in interesting ways. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think the balance between the comedy and the blackness of it is perfect. It's right in my eye. Uh, like, no, I, yeah, I like the, uh, I play it. Might be my favorite one from Andy so far. Um, what did you I, like about it? I liked the pacing. It was interesting the whole time. I mean, it was like a 45 minute show, so it kind of makes sense that it would uh, move quickly. Um, but uh, yeah, I thought the language for me was sort of natural and flowed well. Um, going from sort of comedy to sort of these horror elements worked really well. It was entertaining. It was an entertaining show. It had some interesting things going on. Yeah, I thought it had a lot of potential. Cool.